Welcome back guys to Kerbal Space Explosion. Today we're going on a science gathering expedition around Kerbin. But first, let's have a little bit of fun. I did some experiments. Just trying to uh, fiddle with the airplane designs. See what I could do. And to test a few things out. So here's a, uh, here's a plane I made. And since I called my first plane the cockatoo, I figured I'd, I'd name them after animals. This guy is called the hedgehog. And uh, I, instead of using a big wing, I was like, uh, what happens if I just put a, a crap load of tiny little wings on it? Turns out it works just fine. Uh, the game doesn't really know the difference, although I think uh, the stability is a little different based on the size of the wing and where they're positioned. Yeah, but this guy flies just fine. Flies pretty good. And uh, because we've got the wheel set up like this, he's actually a little easier to land, a little more stable. All right, next guy. So this one is obviously a snake. I guess I could have called it a caterpillar or the worm or, or something like that, but uh, this is Snake Mark One, And I made this one by using smaller wings and I just flipped them around so that they're actually inside the body of the plane. I wanted to see what would happen to the aerodynamics. Will it still lift off? Will it still have lift? And you can see the little flaps go in there. And it's hard to lift off. I'm not gonna lie. But once we get to the end of the runway and we get a little bump here, or, or the runway drops out from beneath us, look at this. There we go. And it lifts off just fine. Now, it does have problems rolling left and right. And I think that's because all of the flaps are inside the body and they're kind of competing with each other. So uh, that sort of gave me some information that, uh, you know, where you put the wings and where the flaps are, they do matter. But the lift is sort of calculated in a more general way. But yeah, this guy flies perfectly fine. It's nice and stable. Looks kind of, it's kind of fun to fly this guy. And, um... Let's see, is he going to start tipping down? Okay, we're tipping down a little, but you can correct that easily enough. Okay, next one. So, this one is a bear. I just thought I'd make a, a whole bunch of engines, see how it would affect the acceleration, what sort of top speed we could get, and give it a funny shape. And like the other one, like the snake, I put the wings inside the body. I just flipped them around. But this guy, I think this guy we can take off before we hit the end of the runway, if I remember correctly. There we go. Oh, uh, yeah, just before the end, okay. So, not the most efficient in terms of takeoff, but it flies just fine. And you look, we are stuck right at 200 meters per second. This is something I was curious about. If I just load a zillion engines on this thing, are we going to be able to get some better speed? And I think the answer is no. We are limited by the thickness of the atmosphere, regardless of how many of these engines I put on here. So, uh, so that means I don't have to worry too much about the engines, more about having enough fuel, because I'd like to go all the way up to the ice caps. It flies okay. It's not great. It's kind of sluggish, but it flies all right. So uh, we can even do a roll. Woo! It flies just fine, um, but without getting higher into the atmosphere, we can't really go faster just because of how thick the air is. So anyway, uh, this is the real plane we're going to be using. I've dubbed this one the Super Science Jet Mark II. And it's the Mark II because you may notice there's a little smaller jet shape here cradled within these large fellas. And that is the Super Science Jet Mark I. This guy's pretty stable. Uh, he lands nice because it's got the four landing gears like this. Um, and once we run out of fuel with these, we will get rid of them and we'll take this guy home. So let's go out here over the water. Here's the plan. We are over here, down here on this peninsula. I want to go all the way up here to the poles, turn around, come all the way to the desert, and then end the mission, hopefully stopping a few times along the way to collect soil samples. So we want to be heading north. Let's start like a slow bank, and I've got a bunch of little science doohickeys on here. So let's go ahead and observe that guy and keep it. And our... Uh, oh, Let's, uh, let's pay attention to our altitude. We're actually losing altitude. I don't want to crash into the ocean while I'm doing this. So we did that. Um, I don't have eight of these, but I've got eight of everything else. I could think of six different quote-unquote biomes. 
Let's log the temperature. Let's log the pressure data. And let's take a, a goo measurement. Observe that goo. The goo jiggles and wobbles as the craft flies. Hmm, very informative. And then we're going to uh, spin around a bit and head onto this uh, northern trajectory to head straight up to the poles. And I could think of, I think, six biomes. Let's see, is this north? Oh, I guess because we flew way over here. I guess it is, okay. So we're gonna head straight up here. I could think of these biomes, uh, over the water, over flat land, over mountains, over ice caps, over desert. That's five. Maybe I can only think of five, but I have eight of everything just in case. So um, I think we'll try to land a few times once we find some flat terrain and get some soil samples. Now this is gonna be kind of boring. It's gonna take a while to get anywhere, so we'll probably, I'll probably just stop recording and resume once we're so somewhere significant. It says we're moving straight north, but our trajectory says we're going that way. Right here in our nav ball, it says we're going straight north, but I guess we'll get it sorted out sooner or later. And uh, we'll, I'll probably just resume once we are somewhere interesting or trying to land. So I think this definitely qualifies as a mountain. I veered off course a little bit so that we could come give this guy a flyby. And I'm kind of wondering what the, uh, the measurements are going to say. Probably nothing different. We'll see. I would like to land on this thing. There is no way I can land on this, though. Maybe we will, uh, at some point in the future, when I want to experiment with uh, space planes a little more, maybe we will make something that can land on crazy surfaces like this. Let's take some readings. Oh, that's one we've already used. Okay, not that one. Log temperature. Okay, so nothing important. Okay, then let's log the... Uh, oh, no, we've already used that one. Let's log pressure data. Okay, so it, just, it didn't give us any funny messages. It just says that it did what we asked it to, and then let's take some goo measurements or whatever. Okay, so none of these are really significant by themselves, but hopefully they add up. So we took those over the mountain. Okay, so let's, uh, let's, whoa, gosh. No, no. What happened there? All right, I got too high. Something happened. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Pull out of it, buddy. Pull out of it. No, no. This is not good. I think I think we were too high in the atmosphere. And this plane isn't too stable when the air pressure gets lower. Come on. No, no, no. No, no. Pull up. Pull up. No, no. Stop spinning. How about stop spinning? How about stop spinning? Stop it. Stop it. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. This isn't good. This isn't good. Okay, now try and speed back up. See what happens. Speed back up. Okay, that's not gonna work. Not gonna work! Uh, okay, we need the right... Oh, you still have wings! Go up, 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 go up! <laughs> Dang it! We got... We're like right there. We were maybe halfway there. That took hours. What happened is that as I run lower on fuel, that plane becomes more and more unstable. All right. I want a soil sample of the North Pole, and we're going to get it. Dang it. Yeah, that's right. Remember this guy? <laughs> if we can go to Duna, we can certainly go to the North Pole. Let's go ahead and start turning over. Let's do a gravity turn at 400 meters. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> We're going to get there. Well, maybe we'll just go straight up and down because I have no control over this thing. At this point, here we are. Back at the uh, the space program building launch pad. We got to go up here. Shouldn't be any kind of problem whatsoever. All right. Yep. Maybe we'll just set our overall arc. We won't even get into orbit. We'll just keep firing in this direction until our... until our uh, terminus ends in the North Pole. 
we will set down, take a soil sample, uh, take the temperature and the uh, the atmospheric pressure and whatnot, and we'll call it a day. We're almost done with these guys. How we doing? Yeah, we're getting close. It won't take much more. We're definitely gonna have some fuel left over. That's for sure. In fact, this stage may do it all on its own. It's almost done. Yeah, we're gonna need a little bit more. There we go. Lovely. All right, so let's just get it. Actually, let's fly from here. Let's turn over. I don't wanna go up anymore. I just wanna go, o I wanna go uh, further north. There we go, and let's cut it there. And actually, I wanna veer to the left. Mm, I think I wanna do this. Something like that. Is this the right direction? Turn this way. Let's see if this extends us in the right direction. Okay, now we're going all spinny. Now we're going backwards, that's not good. Let's just waste some fuel, how about we? Okay, that's probably good. We're gonna end up right in the middle there. We're gonna go all the way up to 178,000. We're gonna plop right down. Yeah, so basically we're done with that stage. We don't need it. Now we're to our lander and we can fast forward. Actually, while we're here, I should probably reorganize these so that uh, we can use our parachutes to land since we're, we have an atmosphere. Let's speed up time. Out of the atmosphere. Oh, here it comes. There, yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh. I don't know how I would land in the poles there. Look at this service. Uh, I mean, I don't know how I'd land with the airplane. That is nasty. Nasty looking. We're gonna frolic in it a bit though, okay. Let's go back to one time speed. Oh, look at this, there was one of my uh, my stages there. We're slowing down and I can deploy my chutes basically after the fire shuts off is any time at that point, but maybe like it around uh, eight kilometers or so. Someone was confused uh, in the comments that I was using the term kilometers when it clearly says meters. Guess what, buddy? I'm dividing by a thousand. That's called math. Okay, and we're still decelerating pretty rapidly. So actually, I could probably... I wonder if I could land just with my thrusters. Let's not... No, let's not risk it. <laughs> this has been a big enough hassle as it is. Just trying to land like this. All right, let's go ahead and release those, and I will see you on the service. How about those landing pads? There we go. Uh-oh. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. That uh, clamp right there <laughs> was not strong enough. Hopefully it doesn't blow up as a result of that. I <laughs> think we'll be fine. Hopefully that doesn't land on us. That would be very bad. Hopefully it doesn't explode close enough to us to make the rest of the ship explode. Ooh. Yeah, that might be an issue. Okay, let's let's keep an eye on that guy. I wonder, could we even drift to the side? I don't really have any... I don't have RCS on this guy, and um, I don't want to fire my thrusters right now. Hmm. Well... Oh gosh, he's going to land right on top of us, I think. He's going to land right on top of us. Whoa, why'd you blow up? Don't, don't land on top of us. I had a parachute, buddy. Yeah, there goes my engine on the bottom of the lander. Please don't... Oh gosh. Over to the side. Oh. Oh, <laughs> that was perfectly fine. All right, lovely. Well, we made it. Uh, is my ladder still intact? I added a ladder to the thing so we could get back on. Very useful. All right, let's uh, let's go and take all of our pressure things. We're going to keep it because we can recover it from this very spot. Log pressure data. I put three of these on here. Log pressure data. Then we can observe the mystery goo. And not worth a lot. Hopefully it adds up at least a little bit. 
And I'm thinking that in order to get a lot of the science, we're going to have to go to other planets. And uh, I was never really getting... Ooh, I was never really getting a lot of science from... Here's, here's the last one. From these measurements to begin with. Nothing to compare with my uh, other explorations. I guess I don't have the science guy, do I? All right, we can actually quick save, though, because we're not moving. Just in case he can't get back on the thing. Which may be the case from... Uh, Okay, get on this one. Oh, no, I think we'll be all right. I wasn't sure if the slope, if he wouldn't be able to... Oh, yeah, just knock it over. That's good. And do a little jog. Yeah, get that heart rate up. Well, we did make it, kind of, to the North Pole. All right, Bill Kerman, uh, EVA report. Not worth much. Mm, take surface sample. That's worth more. Good. And then let's plant a flag. Let's go ahead and plant a flag. I may not keep it here. If we get too many flags, it may get a little confusing. There we go. We made it. Yeah. Oh, can we... Oh, site name. Okay. The North Pole. Nuts to those damn um, jet plane uh, doohickeys. Yeah, I... Uh, I the, the planes, I was having fun sh flying them around, but they are quite slow. I spent a couple hours just sitting there monitoring my altitude, basically. I mean, think of a, uh, a flight you may take across the country or whatever. It takes a while to fly from place to place. And, yep, I, I think we'll get back to rockets. Let's see if we can get back on board. And we will uh, see how much... Oh, Okay, maybe not, but I think we can just recover, right? Recover. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so we lost all of this stuff uh, f from the... Uh, wow, this has been a disaster. We lost all the science from the lander because I guess it only counted Bill Kerman as re being recovered because we didn't get back on the ship. Oh, well. All right, next time. Uh, next time, we're going to do some docking and make a space station. I hope you guys enjoyed this disaster of an episode. See you guys later. Bye-bye.